Well, I've tried a couple of things. If it's not spinning at exactly the right speed, uh, it will cause a problem. It wants to spin. It knows exactly how it needs to spin. And this is another good example of when your motor might be bad, but it does actually spin. That little, that little teetering component that sits on the outside of the drive where it unlocks the arm, if your head, if your platters do not spin at the right speed, it's not enough pressure to move that clamp out of the way. And that's a good indication your drive is actually spinning slower than it's supposed to. Without, you know, it's still a damaged motor, but it's extremely difficult to try to use another motor you, unless you're going to like drill through the middle of the motor. I mean, you've got all kinds of issues there. And you can't turn one over and run it the other way, like back to back, because they spin in the opposite direction. So, yes, sir? I've watched Smart many, many times to try to figure out. Here's another thing about Smart is that Smart like clears itself like every three months. So like whatever data it writes and says, oh yeah, I had a bad you know block like six months ago, blah blah blah. It's already cleared, and now Smart starts all over again. So it's not really giving you good data back. So the data is always on the fly. It's always stored at the time that it's running, and you don't usually get good responses back. So uh, you know I'm not really sure of a good way to do. Yes, sir? When the hard drive's going bad, do you find um, it's always just one piece of hardware? For example, if you swap out uh, the controller. Most of the time. Yeah, I know what you're getting to, but um, the only chance that that's not usually not true is that um, some extreme cases of lightning have caused the head hit splatters. And there's a, the, one of the other things, too, is like once you, once you know that you're going to have to buy new parts on eBay, it might be a really good idea just to open up the casing of the drive just to take a quick look to see if you actually have physical platter damage or if the pillow itself that's on the outside the filter has silver oxide on it because if either of those are true don't waste your time going to eBay because uh, it's going to be too bad but I have only seen a handful of cases where you know both things are bad typically it's not true typically one's bad yes sir what does the clicking of a dead hard drive imply and is that recoverable? Um, yes, it can be. A lot of times it is uh, the physical board itself, but uh, most of the time the head is trying to get the data off of like the beginning of the sectors to try to tell you what you know the MFT or something is on that drive. Uh, and that's one other really good thing is uh, um, uh, there's a tool I use that's called, and if you're doing Windows recoveries, it's really neat. It's called MFT Explorer and it's from uh, Runtime. It actually will read the MFT or the FAT sectors off of the drive and tell you where the sectors are of the folders that you want. And they don't, uh, and then you don't have to like scan the whole drive and try to read the whole drive. You can just go straight after the one piece of data you want. We, we can take questions outside or something else or anything else? Thank you. What's that? Um, he, uh, he wound up having a chip explode on his, uh, his board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to do that. 